floods across the Middle East and Europe, bushfires in Australia and California, and droughts in the Horn of Africa. These are clear signs that something has gone horribly wrong in the order of things. And severe, unprecedented natural disasters are simply the symptom of a much larger problem. Humanity has disturbed the natural balance. Hey friends, my name is Osama. I have a background in nuclear engineering. And on this channel, I help demystify nuclear technologies by simplifying them. I also like to discuss some incredible individuals like Bill Gates that are making a real impact on our world at the moment. So what is the solution? First and foremost, the most important step is to shift our planet to using clean energy sources like wind, solar, hydro, and geothermal. What if I were to tell you there was a more clean, sustainable, and stable power source that most climate scientists forget? That is nuclear. While nuclear energy has been demonized for decades in the public sphere, the scientific consensus is clear. We need nuclear to fight against climate change. There is no alternative. In the words of Bill Gates, the founder of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, he is also one of the most prominent investors in clean energy technologies. He says that nuclear is ideal for dealing with climate change because it's the only carbon-free, scalable energy resource that's available 24 hours a day. And the problems with today's reactors, such as risks of accidents, although very, very minimal, can be solved through innovation. These are the words of someone who's heavily involved in world-renowned initiatives financing clean energy technologies across the world. Now, his observations are based on industry facts and scientific consensus. It's simply not a hunch. Now, Bill Gates manages one of the largest clean energy funds in the world, and he assesses and is regularly exposed to hundreds upon hundreds of new companies that are offering innovative solutions regarding sustainable energy sources. If he thinks we need to be taking nuclear energy seriously, then it would be a grave mistake not to listen to him. We've already had that experience as Bill Gates in his 2014 TED talk about the next pandemic, how governments across the world are simply not ready for the next pandemic. Five years later, we experience COVID-19, one of the world's largest pandemics affecting economies and healthcare institutes across the world. Now we should have really listened to him in retrospect. However, let's look at Bill Gates' plan to harvest nuclear energy and also how nuclear energy is a formidable ally in our fight against climate change. It might lead some of you to question, why should we take Bill Gates' word on nuclear energy? Well, for starters, Bill Gates plans to deploy a total of $15 billion funding clean energy innovation projects. Now he's really putting his money where his mouth is, especially when he founded the Breakthrough Energy Group back in 2015. The purpose of the group was to fund companies that will help humanity reduce its carbon footprint. So Bill Gates is at the forefront of green financing. He knows what solutions for clean energy work and what don't. What solutions make economic sense and which ones don't what solutions are sustainable in the long run and what solutions aren't. I highly recommend his book, uh, How to Stop a Climate Disaster, which provides a really good overview of a lot of these concepts. Switching to clean energy isn't just about the science. It's also about the financing and economics as well. This electricity must be created low cost, remove people out of impoverished conditions and improve the lives of billions. Remember this electricity or energy isn't necessarily a luxury product that can only be given to niche members of the privileged West. It needs to be accessible to folks across the world, regular average people who are living day by day and paycheck to paycheck. But Bill Gates, his support for nuclear isn't new. He's also been a strong advocate for nuclear from the start. He doesn't just talk the talk, but he also walks the walk. So how is Bill Gates fueling the future of nuclear innovation? Well, in 2006, he launched a company called TerraPower, a company designing a new generation of small, modular reactors. So with this opportunity, Bill saw a huge potential for nuclear power in the fight against climate change. TerraPower is working on developing a new generation of fast reactor technology. Although I won't get into the exact science of nuclear fast reactors right here, I promise you they are quite fascinating. Now, Bill Gates through TerraPower isn't just fixating on one technology. Rather, TerraPower is a group that is working on several different technologies under the domain of nuclear power reactors, like that of traveling wave reactors, small modular reactors, natrium reactors, and also generation for sodium fast cooled reactors. Alongside Pacific Corp, Bill Gates is looking to build a generation for sodium fast cooled reactor called natrium in Wyoming. And the best part about it is that this reactor will be constructed 
on a former coal power plant site. Now this is a symbolic gesture that hints that nuclear is the best alternative for fossil fuels. Bill Gates' love for nuclear doesn't mean that he doesn't believe in the potential for other forms of clean energy. He's also funding other companies working on the next generation of wind turbines and also solar cell technologies. We need innovation in nuclear energy to also go in parallel to innovation in other renewable technologies. We need both of these technologies to develop and work together hand in hand. Remember, it's not a competition of nuclear versus renewables. We need these technologies to work together. Another innovative technology that Gates has invested in are called small modular reactors or short for SMRs. They are the next generation of nuclear power technologies. And as the name implies, they are modular, which means they're factory built and they're site assembled. Now, modular systems have the advantages of bringing upon economies of scale, okay? With also other unique features, such as having a plant set up, but also being able to scale that over time. So as a city, town, or general region, electricity capacity grows over time, utilities have the option of adding more units as it progresses. Also, other advantages include enhanced safety systems. Okay, so the simplistic design actually increases uh, safety systems. And a lot of these safety systems are passive, okay? They don't require any external intervention from pumps or backup generators. They're also very cost competitive, okay? And cost competitive with that of fossil fuels, which are already very cheap. And fossil fuels are so cheap, it's hard to compete with them in, in regards to cost. And these technologies will offer that potential. Also, a single SMR unit can have an output, electricity output of around 50 megawatts to that of 300 megawatts. There's also micro reactors, micro SMRs, which offer electricity capacities below that of 50 megawatts. Let's use a 300 megawatt SMR unit as an example. If we were to get the same energy from that of wind, it, we would need around 200 1.5 megawatt wind turbines. Now the land use and ecological impact of those 200 wind turbines is nothing to joke about. Estimates point at around 10,000 times more land use. So small modular reactor technology can really be used to help preserve our natural environments and also natural habitats for animals. Now, Bill isn't oblivious to the fact that nuclear energy carries with it a very high burden of negative perception, something that I'm trying to combat on this channel. Confident that nuclear energy will absolutely have political support in the near future. And to this end, Bill Gates has used his own money and investments to enact this meaningful change. But he has also used its influence to gather support for nuclear energy, something similar to what I'm doing on this YouTube channel. I think Bill Gates should sponsor my next video. Let me know what you think about that. He has publicly talked about nuclear energy for years now. He's been a public advocate for the technology and assuring that it is safe and it is needed for the future of our climate and humanity in general. He also believes that it's very important to educate people about nuclear energy and slowly it will become politically more acceptable and we will move toward a grid with a nuclear foundation supported by other clean energy technologies like that of wind and solar. So that is his future vision for how society will embrace nuclear technologies. And I am a firm believer in that as well. We need to take action now and that action is nuclear. I think the United Nations SDGs or Sustainable Development Goals are a blueprint for how our world can move toward a more sustainable future, not only in energy, but also in other facets like quality education, uh, reducing poverty, uh, eliminating hunger. So nuclear tech does more than just energy. It does a lot of these other things. Hope you get the chance to check that out. Might be on this side, might be on that side, but check it out. Thanks again. Hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. Bye.